Shai, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shai, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shai, Call Halayim La Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, Ba Shimei Al Kai Kadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle of Jesus who will teach well. And shout out to all you brothers out there pushing the truth and all honesty and sincerity, and as sincere women um, playing their role uh, as they should be, uh, listening and being truthful to the word. All right. Here it says how financial experts are planning for the next recession. All right. And as men of the Lord, we should be doing the same thing, right? But just wait till I get to the end of the article and this is what we should be doing, all right? So is America headed for this next recession? The answer is yes, all right? A quick online research will have you believe a recession is intimate. That means it's near, all right? It's coming, all right? Danger is near, all right? According to an Economic Policy Institute report published in April 2019, there is a real possibility, all right? That possibility is highly likely, all right? It's going to happen. All right, Lord willing, sooner rather than later. All right, that the United States could find itself in a possible recession as soon as the next 18 months. So that happened in April, and this is now November, man. So this article that they that that came out in uh, the article that came out in April, all right, that happened like seven, eight months ago. All right, so within these next 10 months, Lord willing, sooner. All right, America pops into this recession. All right, so where they push this chip and we can get out of here. Okay. All right, Lauren, uh, Auntie Anna C. I don't know how to say her name. All right, her last name is important. All right, a certified financial planner with Sophie, a personal finance company that offers student loans, personal loans, investing, and more. Says, while it's hard to know exactly when, what we do for certain is that we will. What we know for certain, what we do know for certain, is that we will see another recession. And we just have to deal with it, all right? That's what the men of the Lord are going to have to do, is just deal with it, all right? But we're going to have to deal with it with strength and faith and trust in you. How about Shema El Shai, all right? So let me go ahead and get some scriptures, okay? All right, so this is this is, this is is what's going to give you that strength. And this is what's going to give you that hope, all right? Which all leads back to faith and trust in you. How about Shema El Shai when, it's when this recession hits? This is Isaiah um, chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith you, How about Shema El Shai? Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right, so all the men, all right, and the the few women, all right, that are servants of the Lord, all right, they're gonna they're gonna rejoice in these days. They're gonna be happy in these days. They're gonna eat in these days. And they're gonna be drinking in these days. All right, that's because the Lord said so. First and foremost, all right. Secondly, because this is the time that we're getting closer to. At that time, we'll be getting closer to leaving this place called America, okay? All right? And uh, and it'll be um, closer for us to getting home, you know? Uh, that would be the point in time we would get closer to getting home, all right? Uh, verse 14, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow and of heart, and shall howl for vexation of the spirit. That's, that's for those two-thirds, man, all right? That's going to be hungry thirsty, dying, all right? And that woe is me spirit because they didn't listen to the men of the Lord has been out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, all right? Um, let me get this, Joe 5, all right? Um, All right, so again, this is this is part this is part of that uh, you know, that not having anything during that recession. All right, this is Job five nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, and seven there shall none, no evil touch thee in famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction. When it cometh at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. All right. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. All right. So when famine comes, man, the men of the Lord and their families, all right, and the women, all right, they're gonna be protected, man. Okay. All right. So this is the faith and the hope that we're gonna have to deal with. We're gonna have, all right, and to deal with the famine and with the recession that's coming. All right. So we can just deal with it, man. All right. Just deal with it. Be men. All right. And deal with it, man. All right, Psalm 34, all 
Shai in verse um, 22. Yahweh Shema Shai redeemeth the soul of his servants, all right? And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate, all right? So put your trust in Yahweh Shema Shai. Don't put your trust in this money because you know this money is going to fall. Don't put your trust in your neighbor because, as it says, say, Edris, man, yeah, your neighbor's going to be against you trying to get the things that you got in your house for your family, man, all right? Don't put your trust in your friends, all right? Because, again, they're going to be the one. They probably mocking and scoffing you at you right now, all right? But they're going to be the ones that uh, turn against you because they wasn't with you when you were doing your work for the Lord, okay? All right, so with that, I want to say, call Halai Maya, how about Shimel Shai, by Shimel Kakadash? I want to give double honors to the apostles, Jima, Shuru, and Titra, and Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there doing this work in all honesty and sincerity. Find me Asherah in the Baba Ball.